Hi, my name is Robert Leniak, and I'm going to be performing Laertes' monologue from Hamlet by William Shakespeare, followed by Aaron Kreeple's monologue from The Laramie Project by Moises Coffin. Think it no more. You may think he loves you now, and now no soil nor coddle doth besmirch the virtue of his will, but you must fear his greatness. Wait, his will is not his own. For he himself is subject to his birth. He may not, as unvalued persons do, card for himself. For on his choice depends the safety and health of this whole state. And therefore must his choice be circumscribed to the voice and yielding of that body whereof he is the head. And if he says he loves you, well, it fits your wisdom so far to believe it as he in his particular act and place must give his saying deed, which is no further than the main voice of ten mark goes with all. Then weigh what loss your honor may sustain. If with too credent ear you list his songs, or lose your heart, or you chase treasure, Open to his unmastered importunity. Fear it, Ophelia. Fear it, my dear sister. And keep you in the rear of your affection, out of the shot and danger of desire. Thank you. Well? I, uh, I took off from my dorm about 5 p.m. on Wednesday. <laughs> it just kind of felt like going for a ride. So I, I went to the top of Cactus Canyon, and I'm not super familiar with that area. So on my way back down, I didn't know where I was going. I was just sort of picking the way to go, which not. It just makes me think that God wanted me to find him because there was no way I was going to go that way. So I was in some tea pass sand, and I wanted to turn around, but for some reason I kept going. And, and I went along, and there was this, this rock on the ground, and I just drilled it. I went over the handlebars and, and ended up on the ground, and, and I got up, and I was dusting myself off, and I was looking around, and... I noticed something which ended up to be Matt. And he was just lying there on a fence. And I, I just thought it was a scarecrow. I mean, seriously, I thought Halloween's coming up. It's probably some kind of Halloween prank, so I didn't think much of it. So I got my bike, I walked it around the fence that was there. It was a bus type fence. And got closer to him. And I noticed his hair. And that was a major key to me knowing that it was a human being was his hair because I just thought it was a dummy. I mean seriously, I just thought it was some sort of mechanism. But when I saw his hair, well, I knew it was a human being. So I ran to the nearest house. I just ran as fast as I could and call the police. Thank you. <laughs>